Hello friends and thank you for joining me. 3 John 2 says, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. Now we know that God wants us to enjoy life and be successful in taking hold of his plans for us. There's not a single area of your life that God is not interested in. We have to remember though that we can block ourselves from godly success when we're not in tune with him. When we seek him and obey his instructions and do everything in a way that honours him, he moves alongside us in what we're doing. In the Old Testament he said, Carefully follow the terms of this covenant so that you may prosper in everything you do. That's Deuteronomy 29 verse 9. And then in the New Testament Jesus said, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. Now when Jesus says all these things, he's talking about our daily needs. Those verses show us that throughout history, our God has been taking care of people. He makes sure that we have what we need and that we see real success. But they also remind us that we have to love him, living out that love in the ways that he instructs us to do in order to step into the success and provision that he brings. Just think about someone that you have a close, loving relationship with. You want them to be happy. You want them to have success in the things that they're passionate about, don't you? Well, our relationship with God is so much stronger than that. So our Heavenly Father is invested in our success, right down to the details of having clothes on our back. Live with the full knowledge of that. Focus on doing what God wants and trust that he'll provide you with what you need. Believe that God wants you to succeed in the life that he has planned for you. So now, I wonder who did you think about when I mentioned loving relationships earlier on? Well, call that person to mind and ask them what you can do to help them succeed in their goals today. Let's pray. The special prayer for this week. Lord of creation, whose glory is around and within us, open our eyes to your wonders that we may serve you with reverence and know your peace at our lives' end. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. 